I usually think of Bentley Motors as being a purely luxury car manufacturer, but this turboed V8 Bentley Continental GT is actually pretty sporty. As the name suggests, it has a 4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 engine that makes 520 bhp and 502 pound-feet of torque, and that is paired with a ZF 8-speed automatic transmission. And the exterior of this car is so gorgeous. It has that timeless Bentley styling that will look good forever. So it's got quad visine on headlamps up front, classic Bentley style, a really aggressive front grille as well, standard 20 inch rims or optional 21 inch rims if you prefer, and painted red brake calipers, as well as a bunch of Flying B Bentley logos. And in back you also have stainless steel exhaust. Now the car is available in 17 different exterior colors and here we see sequin blue, which is a very nice color looks great in the sunlight. Overall, the car in its convertible form has a base curb weight of 5,445 pounds. The car has an adjustable suspension system that, since this is the V8S version of the car, sits 10 millimeters lower than the normal GT. It also has upgraded anti-roll bars. One of my favorite parts about the interior of the Bentley Continental is the seatbelt, actually. I really like the seatbelt. No, it's actually really special because when you get in the car and you shut the door, it extends forward so you can get to it easier. And when you open the door, it comes back so you can get out easier. Seatbelt goes in. Seatbelt comes out. Seatbelt goes in. Seatbelt comes out. Seatbelt goes in. Seatbelt goes out. Seatbelt goes in. Seatbelt goes out. I could do this all day. Now onto the actual features of the interior. First off, we have very nice diamond quilted seats. Very comfortable, but actually sporty as well. They have a really nice balance of the comfort and sportiness. The car also comes with standard piano black veneer accents, but here we see that they've been switched out for a more expensive option. A Bentley three-spoke steering wheel. It's kind of got an odd shape in the center, but I like it. It fits the car. Uh, Bentley knurled shift lever here. A very nice Breitling analog clock there. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I'm not really a, a walked person. It also has a Bentley branded sunglasses holder, which fits actually really nicely into the cup holders here if you're not using them. And since this is also a luxury car in addition to a sports car, it's got some pretty nice materials. Obviously all the leather and the accents and things like that, as I already mentioned, but also the pedals down here. They're actually very solid looking, very solid feeling. I'm not sure exactly what metal they're made out of, but they're very nice. We have a two-tone interior here. It's available in 17 different colors. So 17 exterior colors multiplied by 17 interior colors. By my math, that makes almost 300 different combinations. That doesn't even count like the sport exhaust system, which this car does have, or the carbon ceramic brakes, or all the other features that you can get. So really, this is one of the most customizable cars ever. Pretty much everyone made will be unique. The car goes from zero to 60 in 4.3 seconds and to a top speed of 192 miles per hour. For a 5,000 plus pound Bentley, that's not bad. It's just not exactly supercar performance. To achieve that high amount of supercar performance, you could get the 2018 Bentley Continental GT, which has a top speed of 207 miles per hour. But those have not arrived in dealerships yet, so if you can't wait for those, you could get the Bentley Continental Speed, which goes zero to 60 in four seconds, or you could go all the way and get the almost 600 horsepower Bentley Continental GT3R, which goes zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds, which again is supercar performance. There are really a lot of different trim options for this car. 
So yeah, this Continental GT V8S has the best of both worlds. It's got a really luxurious interior, but it also performs pretty well. This review was requested on Instagram by Andos Thompson. If you want to request a review, you can comment below or go ahead and check out my Instagram like he did, at SirPalmTree underscore supercars. There'll be a link right up there. And as always, thank you for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, comment below, and go ahead and check out my channel. I've got all sorts of exotic supercar and hypercar reviews up. Remember to subscribe. Seatbelt goes in. Seatbelt comes out.